in presence of uv light the two ethylene groups form a cyclobutene ring so this cyclobutene ring also found in inside the dna so in presence of uv light the two pyrimidine which are present adjacent to each other form a pyrimidine dimer called as a cyclobutene ring like ethylene cyclobutene ring and so there are two types of pyrimidine dimer there are two types of pyrimidine pyrimidine dimers so first that is uh, cyclobutene pyrimidine dimers and another is 6 for product photo product so the wavelength of the uv radiations that cause the formations of the pyrimidine dimer uh, ranges between 200 to 400 nm on the other side there are several other types of radiations like ionization radiations gamma rays and x rays are responsible for uh, for the for the um, for the breaking of the covalent backbones of the dna fragmentations of the bases and opening of the ring structure now so we know there are two types of um, pyrimidine dimers first that is cyclobutene ring pyrimidine dimers so as you can see there are two types of pyrimidine dimers formation in presence of uv light so this is the two thymine structure because two pyrimidine they form one is thymine and another is cytosine so this is the two thymine and as you can see these are the structures of the dna the two thymine uh, two thymine or cytosine attached with each other by covalent bond and form a dimer so these bases so these nitrogen bases unable to hydrogen bond with the opposite base that is adenine or guanine so this is the normal structure this is the normal structure of thymine so in presence of uv light this structure form a covalent bond with the one pyrimidine dimer with uh, covalently attached with the another pyrimidine dimer so as you can see there are two covalent bond form this is called cyclobutene Uh, cyclobutene thymine dimer cyclobutene thymine dimer if it is cytosine so it is called cytobutene cy cyclobutene mm, cytosine dimer on the other hand another side that is 6 for photo product why it is called 6 for photo product the 6 carbon of one pyrimidine is covalently attached with the four carbon of another pyrimidine residues so as you can see there is a two covalent bond is formed in the case of first and in the second case there are only one covalent bond is formed now this pyrimidine what is the role of the this pyrimidine dimer this pyrimidine this pyrimidine dimer interfere uh, during the replication process in base pairing so this pyrimidine dimer interferes in base pairing process during the replication process so that ultimately leads to a mutation now there are several types of uh, mechanism through which this dna lesion is repaired so the most common enzyme or important enzyme that is photolysis photolysis present in bacteria some fungi some plant and also in some animals photolysis breaks the covalent bond which is formed in presence of uv light and ultimately the dna lesion is repaired but on the other hand in case of human cells uh, human skin cells are more prone to uv light and there is a chance of the formations of this pyrimidine dimer so in case of human cell the photolysis enzyme um, is not functional so the human cell uses a different mechanical repair mechanism that is nucleotide excision repair mechanism through which they excise the uh, the that uh, wrong part and ultimately new dna is synthesized so this is the process 
through which we can prevent uh, the formation of the pre-breeding dimers. The details of the repair mechanism we discuss later when we uh, discuss about whole the repair uh, the process. Thank you.